Okay, team, our last question is going to combine these two difficulties. So I just want to review them. One type of uh, orthographic mapping or spelling difficulty involves the one that we just did involving the sequence of the sounds as a student goes from uh, mapping out those sounds to letters. In the word flap, the student uh, puts the order of those sounds. They get the wrong phoneme order. So we could say this is a phoneme issue where the, the sequence of the phonemes is incorrect or it's a sound order issue, difficulty, um, or something to do with the sounds, right? Sometimes they omit sounds. Sometimes they put them in the wrong order. And then that's that other... Um, common mistake involves um, another type of orthographic mapping or spelling error involves uh, code-based difficulties, meaning they just don't know the phonics rule. And so you can see that in their spelling, right? Like in the word plain. They just didn't know that to get the, the long A, you're going to use the magic E uh, uh, phonics pattern, right? So when the issue is involving phonics, we could say it's a, a, a code-based uh, spelling error. And when the issue is involving, let's say, something to do with the sequence of sounds or something to do with the sounds in a word, we maybe say it's a phoneme error or sound order error, right? Okay, now with those two ideas in your mind, floating around, I want you to take three minutes and analyze this question. Go ahead, do that now. Pause me and analyze, and then unpause when you're ready. Go. And activate. <laughs> it's a great question, right? I think this is a great question. Great question. Awesome job. Way to confuse everybody. Um, I want to circle these two errors that we just talked about. So one type of error involves, one type of spelling error, right, involves uh, difficulty in, in the sounds in a word. Sometimes we see that in the order of the sounds. Sometimes we see it in the, sometimes it may be that there, there's, there's sounds that are dropped, right? So it could be something with the sounds. The big one, I think, is the order of the sounds. I think that's the big one to watch out for, is the order, the sequence of the sounds. And then another type of error, spelling error, involves um, more, uh, 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 it's code-based, meaning they just didn't know the phonics rules. So... For the purposes of analyzing this, when we see this type of error, a PA error, we're just going to associate that with a, a sound. That's going to be a sound error. And if we see code, we're just going to associate code with uh, some type of uh, gap in phonics, some type of phonics pattern or orthographic mapping rule they don't know. Is that fair? Just to simplify it, okay? And now we see this teacher, um, a third grade teacher who does this assessment at the beginning of the year, and, the, and they're analyzing the students are writing, and, and, and the, these are the target words, and this is what the student does. And then we're looking at not just where the student went wrong. We're looking at the student's errors, because these are all errors. They're all wrong, okay? But then we're going to take it a step further and look at how the, the teacher um, uh, marked it, and we're going to look at, we're going to have to find the, the only one that they got right. <laughs> so, so we're going to look for the one that is right. Three of them are wrong. One of them is right. So we got to find out which one they actually, the error that they marked right. No, the error that was wrong, that they, they marked wrong accurately. I don't know how to describe this any easier than that. We're looking at the, the most likely cause of the error that is correct, a correct uh, error. Mm. Oh, you get it. It's confusing, right? Okay, so first let's just identify the errors for ourselves. The student uh, was supposed to write the word, spell the word flap, and they did felt. What's the error? It is involving what? Well, it's a sound thing. Sound uh, order, right? We have a, a sound order thing. They get the order, they get, they, they, they move the sounds wrong, sound order. There's some app, it's not a code thing. It's a sound order thing. Do you see that? 
So the teacher marked it incorrectly. It should have been PA or some type of sound order issue. Okay, how about this one right here? Plain, and the student wrote plain, and they wrote it, they did it phonetically right. They, they sp spelt it phonetically. They just didn't use the right phonics pattern. I'm just going to write down a gap in phonics. I know, we can say a gap in orthographic mapping or, or gap in some type. They don't know the VCE rule, right? So they just don't know a phonics pattern. So the, the issue is a gap in phonics. And it's not a sound thing. It's, it's a code thing or phonics thing. So again, the teacher marked it wrong. <laughs> they said they marked wrong the mistake. Okay. I mean, they, the student made a mistake and they identified the mistake incorrectly. So the teacher makes a mistake. How about joking? Uh, it is, you know, vowel constant magic E word and, they, and it's involving adding a suffix, right? And you're going to have to drop the E. And the student didn't know that you had to drop the E uh, when you're doing, you know, uh, a, vowel a vowel constant magic E, right? They didn't know that you drop the E when you add a suffix with a vowel in the beginning. So again, this is a uh, orthographic mapping, a, a phonics issue, right? Involving orthographic mapping. So it's a code thing. It's not a, uh, it's not a sound thing. Now team, that's pretty hard to spot that one, three, um, one, two, and four are uh, marked incorrectly. That's, that makes this a hard question. Well, let's spot the right one. The student writes, uh, is supposed to write feet but they don't know uh, the, the spelling pattern for a long E in feet. They don't know they're supposed to use a, uh, a vowel pair, a vowel digraph, right? So in this case here, they don't know the phonics rule and the teacher marked it correct. They don't know the phonics rule. And that's the answer. Yeah? Look, you can choose to love it or hate it. Um, this is a hard question, but I want you to practice it because you may have it on your test, right? So, hey, uh, why don't we do some hard questions and, and work it? And I believe, I firmly believe that the more you work these questions, the better you're going to do on harder questions like this, right? Okay. Um, try this one over and over again. It may help you, okay? This is from uh, uh, Oopsie Whoopsies. It's from, it's letter C, it's on this test here. Sorry about that slide. And the answer is, uh, the correct answer is, uh, a, it's, uh, it's number two on the 190, the correct answer is C. And it has a lot of cool ideas in it, okay? All right, team, great question. Um, and, and this is actually closing us off. And now we're gonna go into what you see here. <laughs> The slide, we're going to go into a, a final se a, a section on stages of, of word recognition, okay? All right, let's keep going. Uh, I'll see you soon.